We're here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking to Jan from Viking Engines, but there's more than Viking Engines behind us here. It looks like a Sonics, but it's not really a Sonics. What well, am I seeing here, Jan? Well, the wording, it still is a Sonics. But it's a Sonics kit you started with. Right. Okay. And, yeah, exactly. And then you saw some things that you went, well, I'd like to do it this way. And you can in the experimental amateur built world. So I had some ideas that were better for me. I mean, I can see one of them right here. Not the way a, can a canopy opens on a sign. The, the, it usually goes sideways, which keeps it light and simple. Um, I, I wanted to tilt it forward because for me, entering from both sides is easier because once you're, once you're situated, um, I'd rather be able to have the other person come in at the end. At yeah, they're two-seater, kind of like getting in a bonanza. The right person's got to get in at the right time. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So airplanes are all about compromises. You give a little bit, you take a little bit. I wanted to be able to get enter from both sides. Okay. So in order to do that, we tilted this forward and we added another pad here so you could step on ah, the wing okay, okay. and get in because you need the support on both sides now. Yeah, because it was only on one side before because right. you only got in on the, on the what would be the pilot command side. Right, right. right. And, and you're a little wider here too. What's this about? Um, we added five inches total to the airplane through this. Of course it looks a little pieced up right now because we don't have the, the painted, you know, this is a prototype airplane. Sure. We're intending to maybe see if other Sonics builders, you know, some of them might agree with the, you know, do it this way or do it that way. Sure, right. And, so and you want to be able to shift to their needs. Yeah, we want to be able to. There's a lot of Sonics builders out there. I don't know how many they got out in the field, a couple thousand well, or more. if they want a bigger canopy, they can buy it from us. If they want, you know, a different interior, we're going to look at that. They, we have that. If they want to get in from both sides, they can. Uh, if, if they want a little bit more fuel, maybe, and maybe not in the in the airplane, like ah, okay. We took, where are you putting the fuel? Well, we took it out. Classically, it's up here. In a yeah, it's a, okay. it's a, it's, a, it's a, some kind of a molded tank. It's okay. a nice tank. Uh, we took it out because we wanted to add a forward baggage. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, okay so you're going to put some extra baggage space up here. Yep. Behind your own engine, tanks, I presume. Right into the wings. Yep. Uh, okay. We did that an easy way. We basically just removed the, the final uh, panel of, of the outer portion of the wing tip. Okay. Uh, we make up some tubular tanks. Just, first, we put a plastic liner. These like, are these are tubular tanks. These well, are not yeah. big. You know the lightning the lightning holes in the wings that yeah, you have yeah. to punch out when you make the ribs. Right. Well, what we did is we worried a little bit about you know just putting a thin wall aluminum tube in there because they're sharp edges of these. So okay. we found this this really nice plastic. It's kind of like a cutting board material. But okay, real thin. Yeah, yeah. We roll that up and we push it into the wing and we let go of it and it pops out. Yeah. And then we took the fuel tanks and we just pushed them in. So oh, now I they're see. supported. The, the whole plastic way. is just to protect the fuel cell right, inside. Right, because you want to use real thin aluminum, otherwise it becomes a heavy tank. Sure. sure. So, so we put 20 gallons in the wings that way, very easily. Um, so that runs well out for it then. Yeah, they're two nine foot Which pieces. I understand is actually good for loading the airplane. It should be. We're removing the weight from the center right. and then distributing it across the wing, yeah. Okay, so. some clever ideas there too. Now when I look at this wider panel out here, uh -huh. and then I looked inside, I go, well, yeah, but you're not using it. you got some more ideas about that, don't you? Well, um, there's, there's two things. Let's just say that some people no, agree no, no, with no, me in some no. aspects of this. They don't want to do an interior, but they want the extra room. Even without taking dishing out the inside, you're able to kind of lean off a little bit right. with your yeah, elbow, elbow, literal elbow, and it gives you more room in the on the inside. Because the original design, you're sitting between the laundrons. Ah, now okay. now the, your elbow is on top of the laundron, which makes a quite a bit of difference, like the width of your arm. Sure. Yeah. So for me, not a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's always a good thing. I like to have arm comfort because, you know, you fly in an airplane for a while or in any kind of turbulence and stuff, it's nice right. to sort of anchor your arm somewhere while you're maneuvering right. the stick and so on. Right. But you've got even more ideas. Let's go have a look at your interior stuff. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so it's a new interior idea. Very sleek, but it looks a little... I don't want to put this in my airplane. Well, it's heavy, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of bottom to it. What am I looking at here? Is this a tool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. First, you start designing something in the computer, and then you have to get some kind of a shape out of it. 
And, uh, you know, so the big CNC machine cuts all this out. Okay. Uh, out of some, out of a putty type of, a, almost like Bondo. Okay. And we were able to cut this part out and then the side panel out. Um, this seat is now going to become a very lightweight and then, seat. And let me interrupt you say, yeah. this is intended to go in the sun. It's going to go in, it's part of the sport kit, we call it that we're going to market to Sonics Builders. To Sonics Builders, yes, right. right. Yeah, you don't have an association with the company Sonics, no, this but is they're builders, this is, yeah. this is aftermarket. Whoever is building their home built Just bikes. like buying new wheels for my car after I bought the car. Yeah, get the aluminum ones. Right. Yeah, this is no difference. Okay. Yeah, and so this is going to be hinged in the front uh, on the spar. Oh, it is, okay. And then you can grab it and you can oh, the whole thing it up. That gives you a lot of room underneath because we are sitting higher in the airplane, okay. about six inches higher, okay. which gives you tremendous forward visibility when you're sitting in the airplane. Here you have your We're basically sculpturing this to make it more like an automobile. And yeah, and I can see now, when I'm looking from here at the curve of that, if it doesn't show in the video, and it, it mirrors what I see over here. Yeah, this overhangs on top of over there. I see. Here's where you pen, on your cup, and this will be a little foam pen. All of these will have whatever foam you want. Okay. You know, what we're going to do is just um, a urethane foam that gets laser cut and it just gets glued in here to these little areas. Okay. Your seat belts. Um, I see, okay. Headrests and so on. Well, there's a little more to it than headrests. Okay. Can you see it? No. All right. Uh, yeah. What does that remind you? Well, uh, it's for your headset. For headset. When you're not yeah, using them, guess what? Sure, very clever. Yeah, yeah, you sit good. there, you want to put them somewhere, you just put them right behind you. I like that. Here they are. I like that. That's good, good thinking. So and so this then it would fit in here. Now, as you said, this is this is a sort of a proof of concept here. Right, right. That's but why once this is all nicely finished and this drops into it, you right. can have quite an attractive interior finish. This could be any color you want. You could have a gray with the red leather. You could do anything you want. It will look like a sports car. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for keeping the weight light. As you can see, there's a lot of contours to this. Yeah. Contouring is one way of making it strong. Yeah, you put a curve in something, you make it stronger than right. a flat sheet. Right, exactly. Okay. Okay, good. When is this kind of stuff going to be available to those many, I don't know how many Sonics builders there are, a number of them. When is this kind of thing going to be available to them, John? What's going to happen is that, you know, this is what, Sonic Fund 2014, and we're going to be flying this for another 30 days and fine-tuning it. Uh, obviously, we want to test everything we have. Uh, at that point, we will, uh, we already have the production tooling uh, for the canopy, the canopy frame, the cowlings, uh, the larger propeller, the seats, the side panels, all these kinds of things are already, in order to make this uh, for the prototype, we had to invest in production tooling. I see. So okay. I would say that people can so go to our website. You're pretty well down the path already. Right, right. I mean, we're talking this summer then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I would go to, you know, the Viking Aircraft Engines website, and then the important thing is to go from there to the Viking Aircraft Engines forum, because that's what we're talking about. This okay, okay. Yeah. So you got a forum on your website. Right. We'll ask you for the address again here at the end, and then people can go read more about it and see what other people think about what you're doing. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of information to be gotten from Viking engines, but more than engines now. Engines, interiors, canopies, forums, Here's lots more, I'm guessing. Where do we find you on the web? VikingAircraftEngines.com. Go to the forum, see these fiberglass The forum interiors. is where we're going to see more about this particular thing we're yeah, looking at Yeah, because it's separate from the engine thing. Sure, of course. Okay, great. Well, uh, speaking today with uh, Jan from Viking Engines, I'm Dan Johnson. You can find lots more other videos that we've done in the past about the engine and lots more about all kinds of light kits and light sport aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Jan and myself here at Sunnycliffe. Now the blues.